Oh, hello everybody. I didn't see you there. You took me by surprise. I was just trying on my new hat. I'm hoping it's going to keep me safe from the sun in this hot weather. What do you think of it? Do you think it suits me? Do you think it looks good? It's a bit strange, isn't it? And probably won't protect me very well. Imagine if I wore this every day, walking down the street, going to church. What do you think people would make of me? They'd probably think I was a little bit strange and odd, wouldn't they? Well, I know what my family would think. They'd definitely think that I needed somebody to come and talk to me and tell me how silly I looked. And they'd probably say, go away and get rid of that hat before you come back again. Well, even though it may protect me from the sun, it's probably not the best thing to wear on my head, is it? So I'll take it off because I want to tell you a story about somebody else who did something strange that made their family concerned. That's better. So let me tell you about this person. Well, would you believe that this person was actually Jesus? Jesus did something that was really, really odd and which caused his family to worry about him. I wonder if your family have ever worried about you. When Jesus started his ministry, he began going from place to place to heal people and to tell them all about God and his love. He soon became really popular, so popular in fact that crowds of people would gather around him and would follow him wherever he went. And soon his family became really concerned about the things that he was saying and the things that he was doing. And they wanted to talk to him about it. And he was in a house one day when somebody came and said to him, your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside waiting for you and they want to talk to you. They were worried about him. They didn't understand that his mission was from God. And here is how Jesus replied to them. This is what he said. He said, here are my mother and my brothers. And he pointed to the people who were in the room with him at the time, not those people that were sat outside waiting for him. He said, whoever does the will of God is my brother and my sister and my mother. That's a strange thing to say, isn't it? Because, of course, those people weren't his mother or his brothers or his sisters. His mother was the person who we remember at Christmas, Mary, the person that gave birth to the Christ child, not the people sat in front of him in that house. So what did Jesus mean by that? And did he really mean to upset the people outside waiting for him by saying it? All of us have a family of our own, whether that be the family we were born into or the people that we live with. And yet all of us have another family too. And that is what Jesus was talking about in this story. All of us have a family of faith, the people of the church, the people in heaven. And that is what Jesus is talking about in this story. Those who do the will of God, he says, is my brother and my sister and my mother. He's talking about the people of faith, the people who God has put around us. And what I find really amazing and perhaps a little hard about that is that they are people who we wouldn't necessarily choose ourselves. So just think about it for a moment. Who might be the people that God has put in your life that are your family, even if you aren't related to them in any way? It might be the person you pass in the street it might be your teachers. It might be those people who go to church. There are loads of people who are part of the big family of God. And we're called to love each and every one of them, whether we would choose them to be in our lives or not. All the people who do what God asks them to do are your brothers and your sisters. And that's why we often say brothers and sisters in Christ when we're in church. So what is what I want you to do this morning? I want you to think about your family, the people you live with, the family you were born into. 
And I also want you to think about God's larger family, those other people in your lives who God wants you to love. And think about how you might be able to love them well this week and show them that they are as much a part of your family as those in your homes. Let's pray for God's help to do just that. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the people you put into our lives, those people that show us your love. We thank you for our families and for our homes. And we thank you for your big family that we are a part of. Thank you for including us in that and help us to love all those who you include too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.